What's happening, Rebels? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got some better equipment now. Uh, still waiting on some better lighting, but bear with me while I get the, all that taken care of. So, let's head right into it. For as long as I can remember, I have been obsessed with Star Wars. And the Droidica has always been one of the coolest designs in my opinion. It's one of those things that always stuck with me from episode 1 as soon as I watched it. Like, those guys are so cool. So after months of planning, mostly in my head, but then deliberating with family, talking it over with my wife to see if it's something that she would actually be okay with me doing in the first place, she's absolutely supportive. Very supportive, actually. Um, couldn't do this without her. So, I'm finally diving headfirst into building my very own 3D printed Droidica. This project really is a dream come true, I can't wait to take you along for the ride. Today we're tackling the first big steps, buying the files, downloading the files, and printing our first pieces. We are actually going to be starting with the head, uh, per the instructions on, uh, well, not instructions, but tips and tricks from Droid Division themselves. They recommend starting with the head, gives you something tangible to really uh, play around with and feel, and keep you motivated for the rest of the project, because it can get kind of... Um, I don't want to say mundane because there's nothing mundane about this by any means, but it definitely can get daunting at times. So let's head right into it. All right, guys, so we start here at Etsy. We've got our download button here. You can hit that. I'm not going to have already done it, but it brings you to a link to come to a Google OneDrive or a Google Drive account. Um, has all the files here. You can click into everything and just download your files from there. You can double click that, hit download. It's gonna download it on your computer and they are all set to go from there into whatever slicer you're using. Uh, for my sake, I'm gonna be using Bamboo Studio. A lot of people really like Orca Slicer as well. Can't blame them at all, it is a great software, but for ease of everything, for me, I'm just gonna keep everything in Bamboo Studio. So, we can do that. So, from Etsy to Google Drive to your computer. From there, I have gone ahead and put everything into folders just for myself and my own sanity. But we can double click on that. For this demonstration here, I'm going to be using the back of the head. Double click on that. For me, it's going to open up Bamboo Studio right off the bat. Okay, so then here's our file. You can look all around. See, it's going to fit on the plate, no problem. Right here is the plate. Okay, you can obviously turn things around. A lot of the stuff with Droid Division's files are set up to be optimized for printing already. So really when it comes to orientation, unless you're moving things around to fit multiple things on a single plate, I wouldn't worry about uh, doing any like auto-orient or anything like that. Just leave the files exactly the way they are, except for when it comes to strength. Because Bamboo Studio in particular, um, I'm sure I can save it. I'm not going to right now just because I change it for just about everything I do. But we want everything to be at least 1.2 millimeters. So what we're going to do here is we're going to up it to three wall loops because the head is nothing structural. We don't need it to be ultra thick or ultra strong. Okay, so three loops will get us that 1.2 millimeter thickness because we're using a 0.4 nozzle. So 0.4 times three, that'll get us to 1.2 millimeters. Okay, now the only, we're going to leave everything here exactly the way it is still, um, just because I don't want to mess with that at all. Uh, but the infill density, we're going to go down to 7% on that. And really that's the only thing that we should have to change here. Um, this will print out just fine. Now if it's a structural item, I'm going to be closer to that 15%, if not more. And then also we're going to up this to 4 for a structural item, but right now, like I said earlier, we're not dealing with a structural item here at all. So we're going to leave it at 3 and 7%. Then we can come here, slice the print. Okay, it slices it into the layers for printing. Okay, so you can see it actually takes this shape and cuts it into each individual layer and that's what it's actually slicing. For the longest time before I had a printer, I always thought slicing meant, oh yeah, it's a system that you can come in, cut up a piece to fit on the plate or whatever. And yeah, I thought that's what slicing was, but no, the system actually, think of it as a glue stick or a hot glue gun, and you are putting layers and building up a wall with hot glue. That's exactly what this is doing, just with hot plastic. Okay, so then from here, you can look it over. Different colors mean different things. So 
Uh, here are the top surface. That's a, obviously a top surface. Color codes it from there. You can print plate. It'll send it to the printer, and we'll go from there. All right, time for some time lapse, guys. Lots of fun. Well guys, here's the head. As you can see, it's about the same size as my head, obviously a little bit bigger. Um, I did attach the neck already. This is going to be part of next week, um, going through that whole process. But um, yeah, it, it's it's coming along, guys. So needless to say, guys, this is just the beginning of my Jordica journey. Um, honestly, it's been a lot more emotional than I expected. To finally start a project that I've dreamed about for so long... It, it's really hard to explain just how awesome that is. And, I mean, I remember just from being like six, seven years old when I first saw this movie. I always thought, you know, the B1 battle droids, the super battle droids. Um, well, episode one didn't have the super battle droids. But, nonetheless, being a little kid, seeing all those battle droids, I always thought it would be so cool to have a life-size prop of those in the corner. And... This is just the beginning of fulfilling that childhood dream. Uh, as I put pieces together, I always can feel like six-year-old me just jumping out of my skin. Just absolutely phenomenal feeling that it's really hard to describe. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling on and on about this, but it's just so incredibly humbling to get to this point in my life. Huge thanks to Droid Division. Uh, I purchased the files from them, but... I can honestly already tell there was so much work that went into these files to make them fit together the way they do. Everything is absolutely gorgeous, nice and solid. The dowel pins to be able to line everything up is an awesome touch. Thank you so much to Droid Division. Please, if you are in the market or want to get started with a Droid project yourself, go and support Droid Division. Buy the files on Etsy. You're not going to you're not going to regret it, I guarantee you. But needless to say, we're far from finished, and I can't wait to share the next steps with you all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. And always remember, a Jedi is not somebody that wields a lightsaber, they wield dignity.